mental health was just addressed earlier in one of the questions, and it has been a serious issue for many years in Minnesota following the closure of mental health hospitals. What can the legislature do to correct this issue? Thank you, Teresa, for the question. So uh, there's a couple areas that I look specifically at. There's things that government cannot do well, and there's things that government should try to help out with. And when I look at mental health or families that have children with disabilities, those are two areas that stick out to me that I think we absolutely should come in and try to help those families. If you are someone that is struggling with a family member with serious mental health, or if you have a young child that has a disability, and maybe even those are tied together, those, the amount of pressure that's on that family to help that child just survive and get through is immense. So strengthening our programs to make sure we're there for those families. And the other thing we need to do is a workforce. Um, uh, SEIU Healthcare supports me because I support the PCAs, the personal care attendants. These are the folks that are in your homes. If you have a disability, maybe even can't even take care of yourself, these are the individuals that are there taking care of you in your, your most difficult times. And I think that as a state, that's what we should be doing is to let's support the workers and the programs that are helping our most vulnerable. Thank you, Ron. Julia? Uh, mental health is a huge issue. And um, again, I'm not aware of the exact policies in the legislature, but I would certainly advocate to help with that to um, um, advocate for mental health, uh, having come from a, an addictive home um, and been through, not myself, but I went through treatment with my mother and I learned a lot and being in Al-Anon and so forth, um, having empathy uh, for the family unit in the, in the dysfunctional, in, with that addiction is very, um, it requires mental health professionals to reach out. And the young, particularly the younger generation, and particularly the men, are, are less likely to reach out for help. And um, we need to raise the awareness of these kinds of programs as well as the subsidies that go towards them. And, and we've done a good job, I think, in Minnesota, but also the corporations can do more to help with that um, in offering that for their employees and making sure that that is part of their health care programs to have mental health services at all times, whether it be for a child or couples, especially, and or family kinds of counseling. It's very important. Thank, Thank you, Julia. You. Any additional comments, Ron? Yeah, so first of all, Julia, I just want to say I'm sorry. Uh, to go through that, and uh, you know, I've seen families go through that, and the strength and stamina that your family must have had in the you to get through that, that's, that, that's tough, so I'm sorry to that. And, but the other thing is, you listen to Julia's stories, remember this, it's those things that make legislators good legislators. I think too often we forgot the human side of what we do as representatives, is we're bringing those stories forward to a voice at the Capitol so that we can try to bring that human factor in. Too often, what I've seen, frankly, in the last couple of years, mm -hmm. even the last uh, half of my time down in the, in the legislature, is we dehumanize this, we make it personal, we go after really ridiculous ideas so we can get likes, shares, and all that. But at the end of the day, when you hear stories like that, or you see these families that have these really, really tough situations, um, I one of the initial bills I passed was to get uh, lawyer legal rights for children coming out of abused homes. Those are the reasons we come down here. Those are the reasons we, we try to get elected. 